Hey guys, in this video we're going to be solving a question on logarithm. We're going to be using lots of laws of logarithm. We're going to go through them. So stay tuned until the end. Just before I start, if you're interested in content like this, then please hit that subscribe button. I will produce at least one video a week. And if you're learning something from this video, please do support me by hitting that like button. It really does help. Now let's get into the question. We have log base x to the power of 5 over 2, 1, 0, 2, 4, minus log 2x is equal to 3. And we are required to solve for x. Now when you look at a question like this, on the left side of the equation, we have two log terms. And on the right side of the equation, we have one number. Now, the general direction we want to go in this type of questions is to find a single log value on the left side of the equation and a single number on the right side of the equation so that we can change to index form and solve. Now, if you don't understand what I'm saying, don't worry. You will understand it by the end of the video. Now, that's the direction we generally want to head towards, but that might not always work. So there's a lot of trial and error involved here. Our goal is just to simplify as much as we can so that we can finally solve for x. So let's just look at this first. We have a very odd base. Now the first thing we want to do is change the base. The question is, what do we change the base to? Now, usually the clue is in the other term. Now the other term we have base of 2. So you can try changing to base of 2 first. And another clue would be to see the value of the number here. This number 1024, if this number can be written as 2 to the power of a number, then definitely log 2 is going to work. Because later, as you will see, log 2, 2 will cancel out and become 1. Now again, if you don't understand what I'm saying at this point, don't worry, I'll walk you through it. So let's just use your calculator and see whether 1024 can be written as 2 to the power of anything. And you will find that it is indeed 2 to the power of 10. So let me just write that down. So let's write it as 2 to the power of 10. We will have log. The base doesn't change. x to the power of 5 over 2. Now, 1, 0, 2, 4, we write as, we change the color for that, 2 to the power of 10. So this is the same thing. 1, 0, 2, 4, 2 to the power of 10. Minus log 2x, we're not changing anything else. We're just doing one thing at a time. So now that we've done that, let's try changing to base 2. Now, there are many different log laws. I've only written the main ones here. These are the ones that we're going to use in this question. And there are several names for them as well. But I'm just going to stick to A, B, C, D, and E. Now, as long as you know how to apply these log laws, it is not a problem. So first, let's look at changing the base. In order to change the base, we have to use law D. So if you look at law D, we have log A, B equals to log C, B over C, A. So what we've done here is we've taken log A, log base A, and we've changed it to log base C. This is the formula that we are going to apply. So we want to change to log base 2. You will understand why in a little bit. So let's look at the base here. The base is x to the power of 5 over 2. So the base here is actually A. If you look at the parallel, this is A. We want to change to log 2. So log 2, 2 is the C. That is the log that we want to change into. So let's try to apply this formula. So it will be log 2, the new log. Now let's look here at the formula. B is on top and A is at the bottom. Now what is B and A? So you have to look back on the left side of the equation. B is here, which means in this case, B is actually 2 to the power of 10. So we have 2 to the power of 10 at the numerator, like this. Log 2, 2 to the power of 10 over, then we have log C A. So A is this. A is the original base of the log. So in this case, our base is x to the power of 5 over 2. So we will write it as log 2, this is our c, the new log, x to the power of 5 over 2. 
So this is how we change the base. Now let's just continue with it. Again, we're doing one thing at a time. So we'll write everything else as the same thing. We won't change anything else. All right. So now we can see everything is in log 2. That is the first step. Now to simplify it further, if you look at this term here, log 2, 2 to the power of 10. So here we have the base and the number is the same, log 2, 2. Now what we do with this is, when we have a power, then we can use law C. So if you take a look at law C, what is happening with law C? This power is simply brought to the front here and is at the front. So let's just do that again. Let's do one thing at a time. 10 log 2 2 over log 2 x to the power of 5 over 2. Nothing else is changed. Log 2 x equals to 3. All right. So now we can do the same thing for the denominator as well. So the power, just bring it to the front and we will get 10 log 2, 2 over 5 over 2 log 2x minus log 2x equals to 3. Once we've done this, we can simplify it further. First, let's do the division of the numbers. So we have 10 divided by 5 over 2. This will simply give us 4. 10 divided by 2.5 is 4. Then we can see this term here, log 2, 2. Now when you have the number the same, like at the base, the same as the log number, log 2, 2, then this will simply be 1. You can try keying it in your calculator. Log of any number, if the number is the same as the base, then the value is 1. So this will become 1. Now all we are left with is 4 in the denominator. 4 times 1 is 1. 4 over log 2x minus log 2x is equals to 3. Let's just take a quick look at our formula list and see if we can apply anything. So the only thing we haven't applied is a, b as well as e. The closest we can come to is a log a m plus log a n. But that doesn't apply here as well. This is addition of logs with the same base. But if we look carefully at our equation, we have the log at the denominator for the first term. So we cannot apply formula A here. So none of the formulas can be applied here. So what do we do next? If you look at this carefully, you will realize that we have to solve this as a quadratic equation. Now, before we go any further, Let's substitute log 2x because we have to treat log 2x as a single term. So let's make it y. So let log 2x equals to y. Now when we use this substitution, it makes it easier to solve. Then we go with 4 over y because log 2x is y minus y, again, log 2x we're substituting as y, is equal to 3. Now, once we've done this, then you can see we need to solve this as a quadratic equation. So, we multiply the whole equation by y. Then we will get this whole thing multiplied by y. Then we will get, of course, everything you must multiply, multiply inside. So we will get 4, 4 over y times y is just 4, we have removed the denominator, minus y square equals to 3y. So we have multiplied each term with y in order to remove y from the denominator so that we can solve it. So as you can see here, this is a quadratic equation. Let's arrange it in the general form before we do anything else. So if you look on the right side, there's 3y, what I'd like to do is eliminate 3y from the right side of the equation. So 3y minus 3y will become 0. Whatever you do on the right side of the equation, you have to do on the left side as well. So it will be minus 3y. So we will get minus y square minus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. Now all I've done on the left side is rearrange it. 
So I put the y square term first and then the y term and then the number equal to 0. Now I don't like the negative for the y square so what I'm going to do is multiply the whole thing with negative 1 in order to eliminate this negative y square. So what happens is again just multiply everything every single term must be multiplied by the number. So what we'll end up with is y square plus 3y minus 4 is equals to 0. Now this is a simple quadratic equation. You can solve it any way you like. You can complete the square, you can factorize, you can use the formula. I'd like to factorize here. So what we will end up with is when you factorize, you can use the calculator for this as well. You will get y plus 4 and y minus 1 equals to 0. Now once you get this, then you know if the product of these two brackets is 0, that means either y plus 4 is equals to 0 or y minus 1 is equals to 0. Either one must be 0 for this to be true. And so y is equals to negative 4 or y is equals to 1. Now don't forget we're not trying to solve for y, we're trying to solve for x. So now all we have to do is substitute back y is equals to log 2x. So then we get log 2x is equals to negative 4 or log 2x is equals to 1. Then how to solve for x? So if you remember at the very beginning of the video, I mentioned that the general direction that we want to go is we want to have one log term on the left, one number on the right, and then we can go from log form, this is the log form where you have a log there, to index form. And that is the last formula on the list. Here, log am equals to n can be converted into the index form, m is equals to a to the power of n. So let's just do that here log a m equals to n. Now when we change this to the index form, remember the base is still the base. Base of the log will still be the base of the number with the index. So base is base, a is the base, a, and then we have the index. The index is actually this number here, to the power of n is equals to m. Whichever way you want to write it, you can also write it as m is equals to a to the power of n. This is the same thing. So this is how we change from log to index form and this is how we solve. So if we compare this, then base is the base. So, and this x, as you can see, the m is on its own. Then we can do x is equals to, base is 2, 2 to the power of negative 4. And x is equals to 2 to the power of 1. From here, we can go on to get our answers. x is equals to 1 over 2 to the power of 4, which is 1 over 16, or x is equals to 2. So there we have it, the two possible answers for x. And this is how we solve this question. If you've learned something from this, please don't forget to hit that like button, and I hope to see you in the next video.